Hello, everyone. This is Mr. Diagostino of Freeport High School. You guys are doing a great job. Keep it up. Hopefully, everybody's safe and healthy. We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do a little di different uh, lesson today. We're going to do traditional lesson. Here's my itinerary for today. If you guys like it, maybe we'll do more of these. All right, number one, we're going to do do now problems. You're going to pause the video, do the problems on your own. When you are finished with the problems, unpause the video and watch me go over them. Number two, family feud question of the day. I have my calendar here. Pause the video, write down your answers, unpause the video when you are ready to hear the answers. Go over the previous lesson's homework, and then you're going to watch the next lesson from me, math instruction. All right, so let's get started here. Here is, I'm starting to do the problem. It's going to clear the ink. Here's the first question, 176 from the Regents file. Do the problem, it's a multiple choice question. You don't necessarily have to show the work, but it is. Nice to show the work at this stage. All right, question two, 45 from the Regents file. Do those two problems. All right, and then when you're ready to watch me go over it, unpause the video. So pause the video. You can go back to see the actual questions. But don't go further. Just pause the video, do the problems, and then when you're ready, unpause the video. All right, pause it now. All right, so let's go over it. You have two completed questions on a separate sheet of paper, hopefully. Let's see if you have the answers. I have this little tablet that I got, so you just gotta bear with me. It's a little bit hard to write on, but it actually is a lot better than the mouse. So let's see, let's see if I can do this. Now this question is a nice problem to do synthetic division with, but since you guys just did long division, we're going to do it using long division. So here's your divisor. It's going to divide it into the numerator, x to the third, plus 2x to the second, plus x, plus 6. Now what you have to do is you have to ask yourself, what times x gives us x to the third? So that's x to the second. Now at this point, so this is a multiple choice question, you can eliminate choices 3 and 4 because it's not... 2x to the second, it's x to the second. So now you're down to choice 1 and 2. Now say you didn't know it was x to the second. So what you can do is you can go off to the side, take the first term of your numerator and divide it by the first term of your divisor. x to the third divided by x is x to the second. Now you can do is you're going to use distributive property and multiply it to each of the terms of the divisor. x to the second times x is x to the third. See, I told you it's going to be a little bit tricky. To, you, I, I used this before, I just I haven't used it in a while. So you just got to bear with me. All right, so you're going to multiply x to the second times x is x to the third. Keep on hitting that button, which is not what I'm supposed to be doing. There's like a little mouse button on here. Actually, let me do it this way. That's better. All right, so you're going to multiply x to the second times x is x to the third. Then you're going to distribute x to the second times 2 is 2x, two 2x two to the second. Now it turns out you're subtracting when you have two things that are the same and you're subtracting gives you a zero. Now normally what we do is you negate the second term, second binomial here or the second polynomial. So that becomes plus, that becomes negative, that becomes negative. Now that cancels the zero, that cancels the zero and you bring down the x. Normally the first terms cancel. The second terms don't usually cancel, but in this case it does cancel, you get zero. So now when you're asking yourself what times x gives a zero, and the only thing that will give a zero would be zero. So zero times x is zero. Zero times two is zero, so this whole thing is zero. When you subtract, x minus zero is x, bring down the six. Now what times x gives us x? One, positive one. So one times x is x, one times two is two. Now again, you're negating both of these because you're subtracting. So six, six minus two is four. All right, and then it looks like it's choice two because the way you would read this would be x to the second, plus one, plus the remainder 
one second of my plus the remainder over the divisor. That's it. X plus x squared plus one plus four over x plus two, which is the remainder over the divisor. So it is choice two. Synthetic division, I'm sure you guys, some of you guys use synthetic division, which is a lot easier, but since you did long division in the previous lesson, I wanted you to go over it with me. So, all right, question 45. Uh, which function shown below has a greater average rate of change? So you need to know what my outputs are with my lower boundary of the interval and my upper upper boundary of the interval. So f of negative 2 and f of 4. Now they're asking which one has a greater, so you have to do it for both of these. You have two different functions here. This is the f function, this is the g function. Some people think that this this table is for this g function. That's not the case. These are two separate functions. So getting the answers from the table is pretty easy. F of negative 2, my output's 1.25. And my, and my output for F of 4 is 80. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 80 minus 1.25 over 4 minus a minus 2. It's the difference of my outputs over the difference of the inputs. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the calculator. Now I gave you guys the calculator from that New Jersey website, if you, or if you have your own, that's great. I have the TI Smart View installed on my computer, which is a nice tool to have as a teacher. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use, I'm going to go back to the home screen. I like to use alpha y equals whenever I have a fraction. So alpha, y equals, hit enter. I'm going to put whatever I see on top. Put it on top of my fraction. On the bottom we have 4. Now 4 minus and minus 2 we know is 4 plus 2, which is 6. So I guess you could just do that in your head. Hit enter. And we get 13.125. All right, so that would be my average rate of change. Okay, so let's put that over here. 13.125. All right, now as far as the G function goes, we're going to need, we're going to need those outputs. So we're going to do G of, that was a, that's a nice looking G. Sorry about that. First time really using this in a while. G of negative 2, and then we're going to do G of, Four. Now, since it's a it's an equation, we can we don't really have access to the table unless we use the calculator. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go back to a TI Smart View. I'm going to go to y equals. I'm going to put this in my calculator. Four x to the sec. Four x to the third. Sorry. Four x to the third. minus 5x squared plus 3. So 4x to the third minus 5x to the second plus 3. I'm going to go to table, second graph, go up to negative 2. So f of negative, g of negative 2 is negative 49. Okay. Now I'm going to go down to g of Four, which is 179. So now it's going to be 179 minus a minus 49 over 6. The nominees are going to be the same. So it looks like this one's definitely, G is definitely going to be bigger. So but we need to actually show what the calculation is. Go back to the home screen. I'll do second Y equals again. Sorry, alpha Y equals. 179 minus a minus 49 is really plus 49 over 6. 
So it's 38. Thirty-eight. All right, guys. These are your two do now problems. Are you guys ready for? So now you actually have before you go on. Now you have to say the g of x function is is greater. Okay. All right, here's your family few question of the day. When I read the question, I want you to pause it and then write down. See if you can get three answers. Check the top answer. See if you get it right. All right, here it is. Name something that comes in a bottle. Name something that comes in a bottle. So pause the video. Write down three answers. All right, so you unpause the video. So let's see what the answers are. Number one answer. We'll actually go from the bottom. Number six is shampoo. Number five is milk. Number four is booze or liquor. Number three is perfume. Number two is beer. Number one is soda. All right, grade yourself. See what you got. If you got both of these questions right, give yourself 10 and a half. If you got the family feud question right, you got, you got an 11. If you did one of the problem, that was it, you got 10. All right, guys, good job with the do now. If you guys like this, we'll keep it going. All right, so let's take a look at yesterday's homework. I'm not really going to spend too much time on this, but the first question was really asking you just divide these two. Now, the way they did it was a little, little um, probably the way I wouldn't do it. It's okay, though. Rewrite x plus 6 is x plus 2 plus 4, and then the x plus 2's cancel becomes 1, so that's 1 plus 4 over x plus 2. I mean, these questions, you're not really going to have to, I'm not really worried about these questions. You're not really going to see these questions on the Regents or any, or any exam I give you. So let's go to number three. Now they're doing long division, which is what we did with the do now problem. Take your divisor, divide it into the x plus 2, uh, sorry, x squared plus 5x minus 24. What times x gives us x to the second x? So x times x is x to the second, x times negative three is negative three x. You're gonna negate these so that these cancel and then you have x, you have five x plus three x gives us eight x. So you actually have to negate these. So when you're subtracting, you're, since it's a polynomial, you're gonna negate both terms. So these cancel, so you're left with five x, plus 3x gives us 8x, and drop down the negative 24. 8 times x gives us 8x, that's why we're using 8x, that's why we're using 8. Gives you 8x, 8 times negative 3 is negative 24. These cancel, so it goes into evenly. So actually, the, the remainder should be zero, which basically tells us that it goes in evenly. That means x minus 3 is a factor. All right, D. Take the 3x minus 2, that's your divisor, divides into 6x squared plus 11x minus 10. What times 3x gives us 6x squared? So it's 2x. Now say you were, like I said before, say you weren't, say you didn't know that. Go off to the side, take the 6x to the second, divide it by 3x. What does that give us? 2x. That's what we multiply by. Now you got to distribute. 2x times 3x is 6x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x. Now, again, they don't show it here, but you're supposed to negate. So these cancel, and you're left with 15x. Drop down to negative 10. What times 3x gives us 15x? 5. So you do 5 times 3x is 15x. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Negate, so that becomes 0 goes in evenly. So therefore, 3x minus 2 is a factor. All right, next page. These are problems that have remainders. So you do it traditionally. You divide the, this should be x minus 4. This should be x minus 4, sorry. 
from the from the answer cube should be x minus four. Keep on hitting this button on this pen. So x minus four. So x times x x squared. X times negative four is negative four x. Negate. These cancel. Negative six x plus four x is negative two x. Drop down the 11. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Now again, y is it negative 2? What times x gives us negative 2x? Negate. And you have a remainder of 3. So it's going to be x minus 2. x minus 2 plus a remainder over divisor. I'll get a little better with this when I get more practice. And that's pretty much what you had to do for the rest of them. Five, a little bit harder problem. So you have to go a little bit further. So your result is it looks like a trinomial plus the remainder of the divisor. Again, you could do these with long with uh, synthetic division, but this is just an exercise on long division. All right, so here you go. Here's the here's the homework. Hopefully, you guys had a good start to the lesson. You're gonna watch the EMath instruction lesson eleven on remainder theorem. All right, guys, we'll talk soon. Thank you. Bye.